In this section, we will explain the working of the complete integrated brake system. The explanation will be in three parts. Pre-braking condition, service braking, brake release and emergency braking. This is the complete piping diagram of the integrated braking system of the DT car. The minimum configuration of the train is DT plus M plus M plus DT. But for educational purpose, it will suffice to explain the working using only the DT car. When the train is started, the main compressor starts working and fills the pneumatic brake system with air in the following manner. Pre-braking condition, filling the system with air. The compressed air is delivered via the hose pipe into the oil separator A13. The oil separator separates the oil from the air. From the oil separator, the air goes into the air dryer unit A4 where it is dried. From the air dry unit, the dried air enters the micromesh oil filter A06. Here, the remaining oil is filtered out. From here, the air travels via the pipe and fills the MR reservoir A7. which has a capacity of 200 liters. From the MR reservoir, the air enters the brake pneumatic circuit, that is the MR pipe, the BP pipe and the air suspension units. Air from the MR pipe travels to the Balcock B67 to fill the BP pipe up to pressure of 5 bar. From the Balcock, the air goes to the air filter B70 where the air is filtered of minor particles. From the air filter, the air goes to the pressure reducing valve B68 where the pressure is reduced to 5 bar and BP pipe is filled with air till the pressure reaches 5 bar. From here, the air goes to the driver's brake valve B61. From the driver's brake valve, the air goes to the ball cock B69. From the ball cock, the air goes to the magnet valve B63. From the magnet valve, the air goes to the pressure gauge B30. Here the driver can see the air pressure in the pressure gauge. From here the air travels to the brake pressure pipe and fills the pipe till the air pressure reaches 5 bar. When the MR pipe pressure reaches 8 bar, the air starts filling the air suspension unit in the following manner. Now, air from the ball cock L1 goes to the pipeline filter L2 where air is filtered of particles. From here, the air goes to the overflow valve L3. Overflow valve opens to allow the air to pass at the 7.8 bar pressure and above, thereby ensuring the air pressure of 7.8 bar and above in the suspension system. The air now reaches the air reservoir L4 and fills the reservoir. From the air reservoir, air travels and fills all the four air pressure bellows L9, which are the secondary suspension of the train, 
via the leveling valves. Simultaneously, air from the MR pipe continues to fill up the system in the following manner. Air reaches the Balcock B4.1. From here it goes to the air filter B14 and then goes to the check valve and finally to the air reservoir. From the air reservoir, it goes to the emergency brake magnet valve through the ball cock B4.2A. Finally, the air reaches the relay valve and supply of air is available at BCU. Similarly, the air travels in the second bogey shown in the screen. And similarly, the air travels in all other bogies in the DT and the M car. When the driver puts the master controller on braking mode, the brake electronic control unit or the BEKU receives the signal for braking and depending on the braking demand, it generates a pre-controlled pressure via the brake control unit charging valve. Now, depending upon the pre-controlled pressure, the relay valve supplies the brake cylinder pressure to produce the friction force that stops the wheels. Now, the step-by-step -step functioning of the service braking will be explained using this piping diagram of the DT car. Air pressure from the charging valve reaches the input of the relay valve via magnet valve E and pressure limiting valve F. Based upon this input, pre-controlled pressure, the relay valve supplies brake cylinder pressure to the four brake calipers in the following manner. The air from relay valve then passes the ball cock B 4.3 A and goes to the anti-skid valve G 2 A. The air then travels through the hose pipe B 13 and C 4 to all the four brake caliper units C 2 and C 3. Similarly, the second BCU generates a pre-controlled pressure via the BCU charging valve. The procedure is the same for all the eight BEKUs. When the driver moves the master controller to emergency braking position, the magnet valve E gets de-energized and the brake control pressure moves to the pressure limiting valve F. Now, depending upon the load of air suspension, the magnet valve generates a pre-controlled pressure to the relay valve. The relay valve in turn generates emergency brake cylinder pressure which goes to all the four brake calipers that generate friction pressure used for braking. The exact airflow is as follows. As the relay valve generates emergency brake pressure, the air from the relay valve goes to the ball cock B 4.3A. The air from this ball cock goes to the anti-skid valve G 2A. The air from the anti-skid valve goes to the test fitting B 6A from where it goes to the hose pipes B 13. From here, the air simultaneously goes to the 4 brake caliper unit 1, C2, brake caliper unit 2, C3, brake caliper unit 3, C2 and unit 4, C3. Now we will explain the air flow for brake release in the following circuit. When the driver brings the master controller in the powering position, that is, the brake release position, then the BEKU gives signal to the venting valve to release pre-controlled pressure. Now the pre-controlled pressure released from the four brake calipers is released as per the following path. 
the pressure released by the four brake calipers namely C02, C03, C02 and C03 and released by relay valve in the following manner. From B13, air goes to the anti-skid valve G2A. From the anti-skid valve, the air passes through ball cock B4.3A and reaches the relay valve KR6 which vents the air pressure in the atmosphere. Simultaneously, the pre-controlled pressure is vented out by the vent valve of BCU via the pressure limiting valve F. Check valve G. Emergency brake magnet valve E. Finally, air is vented out into the atmosphere by the vent valve V. When the air is vented out, the brake calipers move away from the disc and the brake is thus released. <laughs>